welcome to Getting Into Raw Cooking with Zane. And today we have... Rory. Rory's the whole food dude and we are excited to have him in this comparison video. We're going to look at the Optimum 400 slow juicer compared to a centrifugal juicer that you might buy at your local supermarket. And we'll have a look at the pros and cons of... Well, both, but there's not many cons over this side. Um, now, it's really exciting, so I'll tell you first of all what comes in the box with the Optimum 400 juicer, all these awesome parts. And it's very, very simple to put together. You simply take the bowl, you place in the spinning brushes, you add whichever one of the three mesh strainers or sieves that you have. We have a fine strainer, we have a coarse strainer, and we even have a blank homogenizing plate. And you can watch other videos on the Fruity TV YouTube channel to have a look at how you can use this to make baby food and even sorbet, absolutely mm. delicious. And then we simply pop the bowl that we're, the, uh, the strainer that we're choosing straight into the bowl and pop the auger on top. So it's a really simple assemble. We put all the pieces in. The last part is the hopper and we simply again line up the little dots on the side of the hopper and we have one assembled slow juicer and it's really simple to put together and to use on an everyday basis. It's also really simple to clean, so I love it. In the box, um, we've got these strainers, as I mentioned, they're a, a really tough Altum material, which is designed to last you for years and years and years, and all the strainers are now made in that Altum material, which means that they are the, the best on the market when it comes to strainers. In addition, you get in your box this cool little basket, and everyone asks me, what's this one for? This is a tofu box. You can use it for making tofu and also for making a firm raw cheese. Mm. And then you get your straining cheesecloth. What could you do with this one, Rory? Uh, you could use it to wipe your mouth. Uh, you, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you could also it's a use, nice bib. <laughs> no. Uh, nut milks. You can do any, anything with it, really. It's a great little kitchen tool. You've got your tamper, which you pop in the top here. Um, you've got a little juicer tap, which is great. It allows us to mix the juicing flavors inside the bowl of the juicer before they come out into the jug, which is an awesome feature. And this one's so simple, it just pushes right on the end. You do get a couple of spare parts, some spinning brushes and seals, and of course, the Optimum 400 juicer um, manual, which is great because it tells you how everything works, how it all goes together. It's got awesome tips on how to get the best juice from your juicer, mm. how to get minimal pulp, and how to get a good mix. It's even got a tofu recipe in there for you. So lots awesome. of cool stuff. And once you finish juicing, You've got to clean it up. And so you've got the, the uh, <laughs> toothbrush. No, this is a juicer brush. And actually, it's got some great little shapes which are designed to get into the grooves in the juicer so you can quickly rinse out the juicer, wipe out any excess, and wash it up in just a few secs. So pretty cool. Optimum 400 juicer, what's in the box, how to put it together, very, very easy. I'm going to throw it over to Rory, who's got our centrifugal juicer on hand. Beauty. All right, here we've got a standard centrifugal juicer. <laughs> Add that to the. Oops, I'm not usually. I don't usually use these ones. Why don't you together. usually use one of these, Rory? Well, I prefer cold pressed juices like the Optimum 400 because you actually get more nutrition from it. You get all the nutrition, and you can actually get all the goodness from the greens too. So you don't lose out on all that extra fibre, all the nutrients. Yeah. And you know what the centrifugal juicer does is it actually kind of rips and shreds mm. and tears apart the food. It generates some heat. That heat can damage the enzymes, and you actually get a real separation. And we'll see that when we do some juices. We're going to pop them side by side and show you the difference between what comes out of a centrifugal juicer and what comes out of a slow juicer but a slow juicer nutritionally is mm. so much healthier for you yeah. and um, you're, you're going to get much more juice mm. from the juicer as well so you're not wasting anything as you would do in that centrifugal you can see that it goes together pretty quickly it doesn't have very many parts um, but that means it's only got one size of um, strainer so you know you're only going to be able to do that one side and it actually rips and shreds your mm. foods up and kind of sends it at uh, dizzying speeds in all different mm. directions that's spot yeah. on like this one it kind of massages it squeezes out the nutrients whereas this it grates it it heats it as a great well it's as well. a masticating juicer and a masticating mm. juicer like this means that it's chewing the food it's kind of pre-digesting it for you in a good way i know that doesn't sound fabulous but that means that your body is able to absorb as much mm. of the nutrient as quickly as possible well, it's time for us to juice. We've popped the centrifugal right up here next to the Optimum 400 juicer, and we've got exactly the same things on the plate. Now, all of those ingredients are gonna go through the Optimum 400 really easily. We've done the prep for the 400. We've just chopped them into um, little sticks so that they can go down the feed tube easily and we can get the best result. But have a look at how much of those greens, those leafy greens come out. Mm. I would chat to you while we're juicing, but the centrifugal is gonna make so much noise. Loud. Wow. The 400 juicer is nice and quiet. We can talk over the top. 
But when Rory turns that on, mm -mm. you'll hear a big difference. So Rory, let's get juicing. All right. Bad, right? As you can see, there is a big difference between the two juices. <laughs> there is this a big is difference. Just a standard one. If you want to pull that apart yeah, and absolutely. check it out, Rory, I'll just keep juicing over here with my Optimum 400 so this juicer. This straight out of the box. We haven't done anything to it, and it has uh, malfunctioned slightly. Well, it's just got a little bit caught because it's ripping and shredding and tearing. Mm. Um, you know, it's just got caught at the bottom there and hasn't been able to feed through. So we're going to have to waste that bit or All feed right. it through again. But I think we'd find the same thing happen if we fed it through again. So Rory's going to put it back together. The kitchen bench is a bit of a, a mess. A little bit messy. Shall I wipe and, that down, uh, Zane? Look, I think we can just keep going. We can awesome. see how comfortable <laughs> and neat the optimum is <laughs> <laughs> and the slow juices are just up. Well, no wonder people didn't like juicing is what Rory just said to me over that noise. <laughs> And I totally agree with him. That just absolutely makes a racket. I've been juicing with a slow juicer for a while and this is so, so quiet. You can see we've got a beautifully mixed juice here um, in the Optimum mm. juicer. It's, it's absolutely beautiful and mixed well. Over here in this centrifugal juicer, besides the fact that our entire kitchen bench is a mess, the juicer kept wiggling and moving. Mm. It was loud and noisy. The juice you can see already is really separated rather than combined here in um, the juicing jug. So I'm going to pop it in a little cup and we're going to just have a look at what happens in a few minutes. Rory, have a go. All right. So there's a lot, this is really thick and chunky as it goes into mm. the cup. Even with us putting that thick and chunky pulp in there, um, you can actually see that there's considerably less yield. Um, the green colour is not as bright. I don't know if you can see that there, but the green colour is definitely not as bright. And from my naked eye, I mm. can really clearly see that that centrifugal juice is separating and, 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 mm. and moving apart. So, you know, the nutritional profile of a slow juicer juice is much higher. The juice is well combined. We were able to draw more of the greens out of the vegetables mm. and have that beautiful green juice um, in there. And of course, this one made a mess, got stuck, made a lot of noise. Um, and that was a, a brand new centrifugal juicer straight from the box. So mm. a really big comparison. Do you have anything to add, Rory? No, you, you said it spot on. This, you literally, we took it right out of the box. We hadn't used it before. We put it like that and uh, it really... We were able to see what a centrifugal juicer yeah, does in comparison. Everything. Yeah, and, and this was brand new out of the box as well. So, you know, neither of them have been changed from standard as they come. And yet, look already, you can see wow, what a difference. And that's just while we've been chatting. Yeah. Let's leave it for five minutes and take another little shot. Otherwise, ciao for now. See you guys. Cheers to your health. Zane, you keep juicing as you were. I think I might actually stop juicing yeah. and just wait. I don't know what to do. That's totally not expected, so. Yeah.